Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2, which they pushed out to the release preview channel insiders late yesterday in my region on the 11th of July. Now this next optional update, which should be rolling out over the next week or two, because it is in its final stages of uh, tweaking and adjusting the update in preview, will be KB5040527. And if you do decide to install the update when it is released to the stable channel, the OS builds will be bumped up for 22H2 to build 2261.3951. And for 23H2, that'll be 2261.3951. Now, there are three new features that Microsoft has listed which they are saying are gradually rolling out. So you may see these, you may not. Now, I'm just going to mention the first. And the first is, um, if you are in China, you will now start seeing notifications for Windows Share in that region. And the File Explorer is getting, what I would say, one of those small yet significant little tweaks and adjustments. And um, that is when you right-click a tab, you will have the choice to duplicate it. Now, currently in the stable version, as you can see, if you right-click a tab in the File Explorer, there is no option to duplicate. So that'll be a nice little step forward when it comes to um, just improving um, the functionality of the File Explorer. And then the same kind of thing is rolling out to the Start menu, where they've rolled out a small yet significant improvement for the Start menu, which is always a good thing, because both the File Explorer and the Start menu, in my personal opinion, are under par to what they should be in Windows 11. And apparently you'll be able to drag apps from the pin section of the menu and pin them to the taskbar, which is currently not the case, as you can see in the stable version. You cannot drag an app from the pin section and pin it to your taskbar. So that's going to be a new feature using a control rollout that will be made available with our next optional update. Now that's the three new features out of the way. And if you do want to stick around, because this is a non-security bug fix update that will bring other quality improvements, um, I'm just going to go through some of the fixes we can expect to see. Now, first of all, getting back to the File Explorer, there are numerous fixes for the File Explorer, which is always a good thing, because uh, the file, file Explorer, as mentioned, is not performing as it should, in my personal opinion, um, in Windows 11. And I'm just going to go through these as quickly as possible because it's quite a lot. Now, first of all, they've addressed an issue where the File Explorer leaks memory when interacting with archive folders. Um, the spacing between your desktop icons unexpectedly may become extremely wide. That's been fixed. Starting a search from home in File Explorer may unexpectedly show no results the first time you attempt a search. Uh, the address bar drop-down um, could appear unexpectedly sometimes while you um, were using File Explorer, for example, when renaming a file. That's been fixed. After a DWM crash, when you open File Explorer, it may just show a blank area on top instead of rendering the area correctly. A file Explorer doesn't react when using the back and forward buttons on a mouse while hovering over the re recommended file section of home. And then we get three fixes rolling out for gallery. And apparently the search box doesn't show the correct folder name when you are in gallery. That's been fixed. Pictures in File Explorer gallery might flash or flicker when scrolling. Actually, that's they are flickering a little bit. I don't know if you can see that in the video. So that'll be addressed. And when using the Save dialog, if you try to save a file to Gallery in File Explorer, it shows an error. So three fixes rolling out for Gallery in File Explorer and some other um, little tweaks and adjustments as a whole for File Explorer, which I think is always a good thing. Now, moving on to the kind of general bug fixes. They've updated the, uh, the logic for end task option in the taskbar so that it no longer shows a not responding dialog to give confirmation before ending the task. And that's obviously have if you have the feature turned on. And then there are two printing fixes. There's a universal print clients fix and a print support app fix. Windows Defender application control gets two fixes. One is a memory leak, which um, is always a good thing because that will improve the performance. And uh, WDAC was failing to verify the policies of some apps. That's been fixed. 
And then just three more to go. Um, there's a issue with Bluetooth that's been addressed where you couldn't pull call, put calls on hold from Bluetooth peripherals. Windows Backup has a fix where it was sometimes failing. And the cache manager has a fix where it might stop responding. So quite a couple of important fixes, mainly for that file explorer, which I'm always happy to see. And then we get our three new features that will be rolling out using a controlled rollout. And that will be with our next optional update, KB5040527, which will make its way to the stable version over the next couple of days. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.